four years ago, we started a program here with the help of the National Science Foundation uh, to start an irrigation technology program. Prior to that, we would teach classes, only a single class, supplementing for uh, crop science students, supplementing for ag ed students and other students in the department. Irrigation for this region, based on geographically where we're located, it's, it's the number one concern for the industry that we have here in the Central Valley. Without the education coming up to teach kids what's going on and how we successfully regulate the water and uh, use it conservatively, I think it's a must. It's a must. They have to be educated. We're the only one in the Western United States that gives an AS degree in irrigation technology. The universities prepare students for engineering programs or engineering degrees, and, and there's a significant amount of unskilled labor in the Valley, but there's no one that has that middle niche and uh, in irrigation technology. And so we decided that we were gonna train people for that middle niche. The program was really a life-changing experience for me. It was really my dream to be in the irrigation field since high school when I was in FFA. Uh, driving up and down the valley, seeing all the different types of systems, and we didn't have irrigation classes in high school, so it was just something that really sparked my interest. The sheer amount of agriculture and the sheer amount of acreage that's farmed here in the valley is always going to provide career opportunities for people that, that want to work in those areas. The importance of managing water is getting more and more important and so students and employers are looking for students that are, are more prepared to handle, uh, use water wisely and to uh, manage the technology that goes along with that. We have more companies coming to us looking for students than we have students. They're, they're seeing what they're learning here and they've hired a few in internship programs and they're finding out, wow, you guys are telling them exactly what we want them to know, you know, and that is keeping track of the water. It gets really hot in the summer and we need to make sure that our, our crops are properly watered. Almonds are a huge summer growing crop. All summer I'll be out in the uh, almond orchards doing irrigation evaluations, distribution uniformity evaluations to make sure that the systems are running properly. I have students, a number of students that are working as uh, irrigation designers with some local companies. Uh, I have students that work for local irrigation districts. If we were our own country, we'd be number seven in the world for ag production. Um, there's nobody else in the United States that can say that, coming close to it, to our diversity of what we have here. Irrigation is something that is super important, especially in our valley, because we have so many different crops that we can grow in California, and each crop requires a different amount of water. Knowing how to water each crop based off of the needs uh, really changes how you look at water and how it's put out on the fields and orchards. I believe it's important that agriculture shows both the Water Resources Control Board both the, the public in general, the voting public in general, that, that we're, we're stewards of the land and, and, and we're, we're here to use our water wisely. And I believe the, the more our decisions are based on conservation and the more our decisions are based on saving as much of our water resources as possible, I think that's only a win-win situation for agriculture. Thank you.